Well, in fact, we went through a lot, and we went through different stages of preparation as well. I remember at the very like、um, beginning of the stage, we had an online writing workshop. In which students would be, you know, paired up with another person randomly, and then they have just have to, you know, get inspired to write as much as possible. And the purpose of the workshop is just to help them brainstorm for more interesting ideas. And then later on, after the brainstorming stage, we proceeded to、uh, the trimming stage because I remember at the very beginning of the of the of the entire like、uh, script writing process, we had up to around 15 pages of content, and so. It's never going to fit the five-minute requirement of the competition, so we went through a lot by trimming it down to only like three to five pages、uh, in the very end. And after the trimming stage, we moved on to the refining stage, meaning that we, you know,、um, we we sat together and then we talked about the words, the expressions that is fitting enough for each character. Because usually, when they start off writing for the characters. Uh, the words sounded a little bit mechanical and not authentic enough. So, in order to avoid a very contrived version of the expressions, we went through a lot of like refining processes, as in to choose the words that is more suitable for a particular character. Well, honestly speaking, I have to admit that、um, they have greatly. Advanced themselves in the skills and the knowledge of voice acting and script writing as well, especially talking about the ownership of the character, because I remember、um, at first after they had finished writing the script, when they were reading out the lines, I did not actually feel that they owned the lines. That's the point, because when you're performing with your lines, no matter you are doing a radio drama or a, it's a stage performance, you have to feel like you own the lines and you have to forge a bond with the character. So I think throughout the process, they improved a lot in terms of owning the character, and also I feel like they are growing with the character as well. So the growth is、um, very significant. Um, I feel like. The theme could be more expanded, or maybe in terms of、uh, the type of the themes. Instead of giving like the, the contestants just a sentence or a statement, maybe it could be more creative in a way, just to give them some pictorial cues as a springboard for more ideas. For example, just to show them a photo, or maybe even a short caption with a text, and maybe、um, lyrics like from a song, and also other types of videos like to stimulate the thoughts. So, like, due to like unforeseen circumstances, like the COVID-19 pandemic that's ongoing right now,、uh, the drama committee has been really limited in what we could really do and put on stage. So, for example, one of our musicals、uh, we originally planned to put on stage, but was like kind of cancelled due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and we had to like revise things up. So, because of this, we were kind of like searching around for like any sort of things we could actually do. That didn't have any limitations put on them, yeah. So that was when we kind of stumbled across this radio drama competition, and we decided to give it a go. So I think we've all gained a lot of valuable experiences in the performing arts. I guess some of us have never actually performed as an actor, like Ryan or Rex, and now we are excited to take on new roles and to gain new experience, as well as. Understand how we can put on a show without it actually being live action, and、uh, solve many technical issues that ar- arose, and、uh, tr- learn to deal with it、uh, appropriately. And we also learned a lot of teamwork and cooperation in both script writing and、uh, the coordination when performing. So, like one problem we encountered、uh, during the entire process. Was that due to us being in different grades? Like for example, me and Rex are in grade ten. Avi right there, Avi and Oscar right there is grade nine, and Jeffrey right there is grade eight. Because we're in different grades, yeah, our schedules are vastly different. Especially like since this exam season,、uh, someone could be available on Monday, but some like half of the other team could be just not available at all. So organizing our schedules and trying to find a common time 
uh, has been quite a challenge for us. But in the end, while we managed to find maybe one or two rehearsal time slots, uh, we think we made up for it by actually rehearsing super hard, as well as being focused on the task beyond all else, as well as uh, thanks to Rex here and uh, these, our team members right here, we managed to kind of like uh, power through and manage to deliver a good performance in the end. Um, one memorable moment uh, I had personally was um, watching the primary school uh, section performances. I remember one group uh, had one uh, performer who played a role uh, as Satan, and uh, we we loved that performance. I, I remember us um, talking about that performance after the competition, and we were just amazed by the range the, that uh, that young performing can performing can go. Mm. It's really spectacular. It was very animated. I would even think that his performance would could be some. Uh, better than some of our even our own members of the drama committee. Yeah. Uh, this year's uh, radio drama competition was really good. Uh, it went fairly smoothly. But if next year, if this was available, um, if if the if you guys could do it live instead of on Zoom, it would be much better. As on Zoom, there would probably be like lag or some like noise noise cancellation which would affect the performance and it also affects like each individual performer to see like the judges couldn't really tell some of the performance to the other performers so it'd be if you do it live um the the judges could like tell uh which performer is which also for the prize uh presentation ceremony um, if you guys could do from bronze to silver then gold and then announce the merit awards, it, it would be much uh, more beneficial. And another suggestion I would want to make is that um, I think the competition we can have uh, more themes for us to choose from um, because we can see more uh, performers uh, showing their creativity in the process and we can get, um, like, we can uh, admire more uh, better performances in future. I agree with what he just said, and I think that themes should be expanded so there can be multiple meanings behind one single short topic. For example, this year's theme, An un Unforgettable Journey, um, it could be a physical journey and also a mental journey that describes how a, ca a character's journey and arc and improvement throughout the story. And I think uh, stories and themes with double or triple or multiple meanings in general can give more creative freedom to performers and scriptwriters to truly express themselves and perform better.